Hello, you're welcome to solve this math problem, which is a plus b is equal to abc. b plus c is equal to abc. c plus a is equal to abc. To find the value of a, b, and c. Now, in the first step, we start by letting this as equation 1, and this equation 2, and this equation 3. Then, we'll take equation 1 minus equation 2. Now, from equation 1 in the left side, it is a plus b. Then, minus equation 2 in the left side, it will be bracket b plus c bracket is equal to equation 1 in the right side, it is a, b, c. Then, minus equation 2 in the right side, it will be, it is a, b, c. Then we'll open this bracket so it will be a plus b. In here it will be negative b, and also in here it will be negative c is equal to abc minus abc is zero. Then from b minus b will cancel, so this it is zero. Then it will be a minus c is equal to zero. Then we take negative c to the right side so it will be a is equal to c now from here we should note that a is equal to c then we take in the next step we'll take equation 2 minus equation 3 so from to equation 2 minus equation 3 equation 2 in the left side it is b plus c so b plus c minus Equation 3 in the left side, it is C plus A. So, bracket C plus A bracket is equal to equation 2 in the right side, it is A, B, C. Minus equation 3 in the right side, it is A, B, C. Then, we'll open this bracket. So, it will be B plus C. In here, it will be negative C then negative a is equal to abc minus abc it is zero then this c minus c is zero so this and this will cancel then it will be b minus a is equal to zero then we take negative c to the right side it will be b is equal we take negative a to the right side it will be b is equal to a so we should also note this now from a is equal to b also here a is equal to c therefore a is equal to b is equal to c so from here we should note this then in the next step from the first equation in the first equation it is a plus b is equal to a b c so from the first equation a plus b is equal to a b c then it will be a plus b b is equal to a so it will be plus a is equal to a times b b is equal to a so it will be times a times c c is equal to a so it will be times a then it will be a plus a is 2 a is equal to a times a times a is a power 3 then we'll take this 2a to the right side. So it will be this, which is a power of 3. This will take to this side, it will be minus 2a is equal to 0. Then from here, a is common. So we'll take a out of bracket. a power of 3 divided by a is a square. Negative 2a divided by a is negative 2. Then bracket is equal to 0. Then from here, we have two solutions. Whereas this is the first solution, a is equal to 0. And this second solution, a square minus 2 is equal to 0. Then we take this negative 2 to the right side to be a square is equal to 2. Then we'll apply square root in both sides. So this square root will cancel square. Then it will be a is equal to, in here to be plus or minus square root of 2. Therefore, the first value of a is equal to 0. The second value of a is equal to this positive square root of 2. 
and the third value of a is equal to this negative square root of 2. So we, we got three values of a, but a is equal to b is equal to c is equal to b is equal to c so in here a b c is equal to zero also is equal to square root of two also is equal to negative square root of two so these are all the values of a b c which are equal now to check if this ans these answers are correct from this our problem let's check from this equation one a is 0, so it will be 0 plus 0 is 0 is equal to 0 times 0 times 0 is equal to 0. So 0 is equal to 0, so for 0 it is a correct answer. Now let's check for square root of 2. Here to be square root of 2 plus square root of 2 is 2 square root of 2 is equal to square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. 2 times square root of 2 it will be 2 square root of 2 now left side and right side are equal then it is true for the values of a b c is 0 square root of 2 and negative square root of 2 thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye